Hello everyone, we will show you how to design an assisted single line diagram. In this example, the diagram of the main switchboard is already designed, so we will work on the two sub-panels with their two outgoings, Q2 and Q3. Firstly, we have to indicate that both sub-panels are powered by these two outgoings. For this, click on Diagram Table. The default circuit type is a terminal. It must be changed to a distribution panel. The appliance has been changed at the same time. To view the diagram, click on Diagram, Display, Other Zoom, Zoom Window. The outgoings are visible on the diagram. Now, we will design the assisted single line diagram of the sub-panel one. Select it. Click on Assisted Single Line Diagram. The incoming should be defined. In this example, it is located in an existing enclosure. Click on Next. Select the outgoing E1 and click on Finish. The main switchboard and the sub-panel have been linked successfully. We can see the outgoing from the sub-panel to the main switchboard and vice versa. Let's go back to the sub-panel. Select the inflow. On the left side, you can see its properties. The braking capacity IK should be fulfilled if it is empty. Go to Diagram Table. Click on the cell where the product should be placed and enter the catalog to find the reference. In this example, we are looking for a modular LBS. Refine your search using the filters and once you've found the right product, click on Add. The product is inserted at the selected location and the product picture is being shown. Now we will add a circuit breaker, IEC. Click on the cell on the diagram and choose your product in the hierarchy using the filters. An add-on block of 300 milliamps will be added as an accessory. Select the product and click on Add. Then 6 MCBs 10 amps will be included for the lighting. Click on Add to add the products to the diagram. The default appliance for MCCB's 10 amps is lighting. Now we will duplicate this group. For this, select the first product, press and hold the Shift key and select the last product. Then, right-click, select Copy and paste the group below the red line to have it in a second worksheet. If you click on Diagram, you will see the two lighting groups in both worksheets. We can also add products directly from the diagram. For this, select the product in the catalog and click on Add. After this, you can put the icon at the right place directly on the diagram. You can also drag and drop it. The circuits can be renamed directly from the diagram. For this, click on one circuit in order to display the properties window on the left side. The location can be renamed, for instance, stock. These kind of changes are then automatically displayed in the diagram and in the diagram table. If you click directly in the cell, a drop-down list is being displayed. Select the location for instance corridor and press the Control enter keys to write on a second line. This information is also visible in the diagram.
Now we will create a new terminal outgoing. For this, select the outgoing and click on distribution, outgoing, create a terminal outgoing. The outgoing is visible on the diagram and in the diagram table. Now we will add a latching relay. Click on the cell and enter the keywords to find the right product using the filters. Once the product is found, click on add. The option of connection can be changed. For example, four wires. The product has been added in the diagram table and on the diagram. Now we will adjust some display settings. For this, click on Settings, Display. You can change the display of the diagram product table to two lines. It is easier to read, but takes up more space. The cell itself can also be customized. For this, click on Settings. You can decide to see only the functional marking and the reference instead of the short description. Now we will specify the cable type. Click on one cell and select the cable type. We also have the section and the cabling just below. This information is visible in the diagram table. The default length is zero meters, but it can be modified directly in the diagram table. The information is also visible in the diagram. Let's go back to the diagram table. By adding the power manually, the current is automatically recalculated. HagerCAD can spot and highlight any incorrect power with an exclamation mark. But this last information is not visible in the diagram. To have them visible anyway, go to Settings, Circuit Area, and select which information you wish to show in the diagram. Click on OK to validate, and the information is displayed. If the products are in the wrong place, the diagram can be renumbered. For this, go to Tools, Renumbering. Let's go back to the diagram table. If the braking capacity is changed to 7 kilo amps, a red spot will notify that this value is wrong. Select the product, check the coordination box, and the braking capacity will be adjusted. To have all devices adjusted at the same time, go to coordination and select the second option. The braking capacity has been changed to 10 kiloamps in the diagram.